1912, the U.S. government responded to an invitation from conservative president Adolfo Diaz and sent in Marines to protect U.S. interests. Later in the 1924 election, the U.S. engineered a coalition between Carlos Solorzano, a conservative who would be president, and Juan B. Sacasa, who would be vice president. After Solorzano removed all liberals from his parties, including his vice president, he was forced out of office in 1925. The presidency shifts from Solorzano briefly to Chamorro. And finally, back to former President Diaz. Violence erupts, however, when former Vice President Sacasa returns from exile to claim his rights to the presidency. In April 1927, the United States sent Henry L. Simpson to mediate the civil war that had broken out between conservatives and liberals. Simpson met with leaders from both parties, including General Jose Moncada, the leader of the liberal rebels. On May 20th, Moncada agreed to a plan in which both sides would disarm. In addition, a nonpartisan military force would be established under the United States supervision. This accord is known as the Pact of Espino Negro. Sandino called Moncada a traitor and organized his own forces as the army for the defense of Nicaraguan sovereignty. Sandino then staged an independent guerrilla campaign against the government and U.S. forces. Sandino's guerrilla war caused significant damage, and thus the U.S. opted to develop the nonpartisan Nicaraguan National Guard. The National Guard quickly became the most important power in Nicaraguan politics, and General Moncada was put in charge. Anastasio Tacho Somoza Garcia, who was supported by the U.S., becomes president, and by 1933, the U.S. Marines can safely leave Nicaragua.